The bank industry, struggling to make the profits it used to, is using the struggles of another industry for its marketing, the Postal Service. J.P. Morgan Chase & Company, Bank of American Corporation, Citigroup Incorporated, and Wells Fargo & Company are all using the looming threat of postal service cuts to sell bank services such as electronic payments and remittance pickups that can speed payments likely to be slowed by diminished mail service. President Obama, in his budget proposal in February, called for an end to Saturday mail delivery and other cost-cutting by the Postal Service. The Senate is to consider a bill this week that would allow the Postal Service to consider ending Saturday mail after two years. Known as remittance mail, the envelopes would get special treatment under the Postal Service's plans to cut costs. Banks would be able to continue to pick up these envelopes seven days a week, even as first-class deliveries to businesses would become less frequent. At Bank of America Merrill Lynch, Paul Simpson, head of the Global Transaction Services, said the bank is talking to clients about electronic payment options as well as looking at new ways to enhance and speed up deposit and lockbox services. Depending on the Postal Service consolidation plans, the bank could look at partnership opportunities at post office locations, where the bank could process checks and immediately capture electronic images of these payments. Simpson also said that a partnership with the U.S. Postal Service could help create revenue streams that benefit both parties. Lindsay Alexander, IB Times TV.